everybody, this is Katie with Z Olive, and I'm here for another segment of Cooking with Z Olive, where we show you how easy it is to use our products at home in your kitchen. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. It's so easy, and there are so, so many options. So today, we're going to be making a really fun, lighthearted recipe. Even though fall is right around the corner, it is still summer. It feels great outside, lots of beautiful sunny days. And so today, we are going to be making a summer mango coconut shrimp salad. I'm really excited about it because those are some of my favorite things. And the Z Olive products we're going to be using today are the Z Olive Mango Coconut Balsamic Vinegar and the Z Olive Citrus Habanero Olive Oil. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the ingredients. Here's a look at the ingredients that we're going to need for this recipe. It does look like a lot of stuff, but I promise this is going to be super easy and so, so delicious. We're going to break it down and do it in parts. So the full amount of ingredients you're going to need include some orange juice, some plain Greek yogurt, some pineapple, green chives, some shrimp that have been peeled and de-veined, an avocado, a lime, some cilantro, green cabbage, some spices that I will get into later in the episode, a mix of spring greens, or you can do whatever lettuce you most like. And then of course, we're going to use our Z Olive Mango Coconut and our Z Olive Citrus Habanero. First things first, we're going to put our raw, peeled, and deveined shrimp into a bowl and we are gonna start adding our ingredients. Now I have one pound of shrimp here and that's gonna be for two people. So you might need to adjust the amount of shrimp depending on how many people you're making this for. Our first ingredient is going to be our mango coconut balsamic vinegar and we are going to add two tablespoons to our shrimp. Next, we're going to add our citrus habanero olive oil, and we are going to be adding one tablespoon. Next, we're going to add all of those spices and herbs I talked about earlier. First being one teaspoon of allspice, two teaspoons of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of thyme, one half teaspoon ground ginger, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we're just going to stir this mixture up, making sure all of our shrimp gets nice and coated. And as you saw, there are a lot of spices in here. If you don't want your shrimp quite as spicy, you could use a different olive oil, like maybe our garlic infused olive oil, our roasted garlic, or any of our other olive oils, honestly, like Meyer lemon or blood orange, if you just want the citrus without the habanero addition. So now we're gonna go ahead and get these on a pan for the oven. Now, as you can see, we've lined a baking pan with aluminum foil and we're gonna preheat our oven to 450 degrees. Now we're just going to add our shrimp to our dish. Once our shrimp are in our pan, you can brush any of the extra little marinade that we made over the top of your shrimp. And one last ingredient I did forget to mention earlier, we're going to want to have one fresh jalapeno that we are just going to place on our baking dish here and roast for it later in the recipe. Now we're going to get these in our oven and let them bake for a about six to eight minutes just keeping an eye on them and you can watch just to see when the shrimp are done cooking and then if you want to for the last minute you can turn on the broiler if you want them to get a little crisped up and blackened a little bit uh, but keep an eye on this because you don't want to burn them so let's go ahead and get these in the oven while our shrimp is in the oven, we're going to start our dressing for our salad. And the first thing we're gonna do is put about one to one and a fourth cup of our plain Greek yogurt into a bowl. Now this will change a little bit depending on how many people you are making this for. Now we're gonna add one fourth of our green chives that we have carefully sliced. 
one fourth cup of chopped fresh cilantro, one tablespoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, and then one tablespoon of the sea olives mango coconut balsamic vinegar. And now we're just gonna give that a stir. Now we'll set this aside and we'll check on our shrimp. All right, so we'll take our shrimp and jalapeno out of the oven and we are gonna set them aside to cool. Now it's time to make the final part of our salad and we're gonna start out with two cups of chopped fresh green cabbage in a bowl and we'll add the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna dice up our fresh pineapple into bite-sized pieces and add one cup to our cabbage. We're gonna chop up more fresh cilantro and add one fourth to one half cup of the chopped cilantro to our bowl. One fourth cup of no pulp orange juice. And one tablespoon of mango coconut balsamic vinegar from Z Olive. And finally, we're going to prepare our cooled roasted jalapeno by cutting off the ends, slicing it in half, and then using a spoon to take out the seeds in the middle. Next, we're going to carefully dice up our pieces. Then we're just going to add our jalapeno to our bowl, making sure we don't get any of the jalapeno seeds in there because that is where the heat comes from. Now we're just gonna add some extra lime juice to this and then salt and pepper to taste. Now we're just gonna stir this up. Now it's time to put it all together and plate it. I'm starting by adding the base of my salad, which is a spring green mix, but you could use any sort of salad that you like, whether that is just a lettuce or a spinach mix or maybe even baby kale. Next, we're going to add a little bit of our cabbage and pineapple mixture. Next, we're gonna add our Greek yogurt dressing. And then we've chopped up some fresh avocado. We're just going to layer that on top. And finally, we're going to add our yummy shrimp. And there you have it, our final product. And that's it. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Cooking with Z Olive. And I hope you really enjoy this summer mango coconut shrimp salad on these last few beautiful days of summer that we have. If you are going to try this recipe out at home, make sure you go online to www.zolive.com where you'll find all of our products, including the two used here today, which were Z Olive's mango coconut balsamic and the olive citrus habanero olive oil. Also, if you have missed any of our previous recipe videos or you want to make sure that you don't miss any in the future, go and like and follow us on Facebook. You'll find all of our past videos there under the videos tab. If you do try this recipe out at home, let us know what you think. Post your pictures, your videos, your reactions, and tag the olive online. I'm going to go enjoy my salad now and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Bye.